Hi, I'm Lauren Graham, and you're on the set of our Entertainment Weekly cover shoot. Are you there? The show ended so abruptly, uh, and no one had a chance to say goodbye or savor the end or anything like that, and this was a chance to do that. We were in Luke's diner, and we didn't know if it was the end of the show or not. Our director, not knowing if it was the end, was trying to mimic the crane shot that ends the opening title sequence. It's the two of us at a table mm -hmm. in Luke's, mm -hmm. and then we said goodbye to everybody, and then we didn't know <laughs> what was gonna happen. And coming back was just like every day was, I mean, really, really like a party. It's incredibly rare to, to be in a situation where right after the end of season seven of the original series, the fans wanted more. That's what makes it so special, I think, is because this, this is born from the fans. I think what makes Gilmore Girls uh, resonate with audiences, whether they were not even born when the show ended or they were watching the show as it aired the first time, is that it's about relationships, about mother-daughter, about friends, about family in general, about boyfriends and girlfriends and everything in between. I think what Gilmore Girls was able to do was to really tap into the idea that here's this small town where you run into everybody that means something to you, walking down the street, going to Luke Steiner, going to the market. That's why I watch. That's why I am a fan. Just getting to see people interact with each other and go like, how cool would that life be? How cool would it be to visit Stars Hollow? It doesn't exist, right? It exists in our dreams, but nonetheless to see them and have a relationship with them. Reading the scripts was was so rewarding because it felt, it felt real, it felt solid, it felt the same. I think that's a great thing about um, Amy and Dan's writing is that it was always that feeling of, gosh, that makes so much sense, even though it surprises me completely. I'm very happy for the audience. And what's, what's gonna suck is when four isn't enough for the, the rabid fan base of Gilmore. I remember Kelly saying, this is one that's going to stick around. Do you remember saying that? No. You said this is going to be one of those shows that people continue to find and continue to enjoy over time. I had no perspective of that at the time. I don't, I don't think I could tell what people's perception of the show was, especially when we were still filming years later when people say to you how it's affected their lives. and and you know, they have those kinds of stories. We could never have predicted we'd be here doing it again, and that's because generations have continued to, to find it, and you never know that that's going to happen at the time.